Hello and welcome to Your Journey Yoga. I'm Cheryl, thanks for joining me today. Again, another pose breakdown. I'm doing Warrior Two, um, another foundational piece of our practice. Um, again, if you've ever had questions or if you're new and you're just curious about what these poses are and how you're supposed to get into them and what they're supposed to feel like. So that's my intention is to help um, guide you through that, how to get into the pose, kind of what you're feeling, the different, um, Variations of how to get into the pose. So there's lots of them, guys. So I'll just do a couple. Um, but uh, really listening to the verbal cues. So as you come with me to class or whether you're doing the, joining me on the videos, um, you get that sense um, and you can understand my verbal cues um, and to get how to get into the pose. So I hope this helps. Um, again, warrior two, my friends. So starting from a standing position as we did for our warrior one, we're gonna come into a nice wide stance. So wider than you would typically think, I refer to this as your wing stance. Arms are gonna come out to a T. We're gonna work on our left warrior two. So we're gonna turn those left toes towards the top of the mat. Turning the right foot so that the foot's about a 45 degree angle. Your heel would be pointing out to a clock, if you would, a clock face. Front toes 12 o'clock, back heel 6 o'clock, and then your toes are turned to about a 45 degree angle. Now everybody feels a little different in their ankles as you turn, so just come someplace where it feels good and a nice stretch, but never any pain. Core is strong. We're going to keep the hips, chest, and shoulders facing front, so facing me, and then you're going to bend that left knee and sink down into a nice deep lunge. We take our gaze out over the front middle fingers and we soften those shoulders. So it's a nice strengthening pose. Should feel really strong in that front leg. Long pose down that back leg. Our hips are open, that knee is rolled out, so that left knee is kind of right in line with the hip as best you can. We have this tendency to kind of let that knee roll inward. I'll show you that from the front view. It's a little bit um, easier to see, but rolling out, and extending. So we're in alignment. We're strong and we're solid. Shoulders soft. Now again, you can always do your warrior two with just a slight bend in your knee, or you can get deep, 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 but maintain your form. Always keeping that thigh about parallel to the floor. You don't ever want to sink beyond and get into those hips too much. I want stability and strength. Core strong. Beautiful. Straighten that front leg. Let's just do it to the other side. So shifting, now the left toes and the right toes, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Extend those arms out and sink into that lunge. Now just notice how it feels different on this side than the other. Again, thigh, no deeper than parallel with the floor. Can be up or can be low. Shoulders soft and find your breath. Warrior to a strong, solid pose. Go ahead, straighten that leg. Now from a front view, again, this is our left side. So the feet are gonna be in the same position they were in your warrior one. So that leg, strong, hips open, extend those arms out and sink in. Now when I made that reference about rolling that knee out, sometimes that knee can come in. We wanna roll it out so it's right in line with that hip. Solid and strong. Beautiful. So we're strengthening those legs, we're strengthening the core, we're strengthening the arms and the shoulders. Go ahead and straighten and release. So that, my friends, is our Warrior Two from a standing position. Similar to our Warrior One, if you haven't seen the Warrior One video yet, you'll get a little sneak preview here. So coming through the top of the, or the bottom of the mat, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. A little sneak peek of a swan dive. Walk those hands out to high plank. So again, our high plank, strong pose, and the shoulders are right over those fingertips. This will give us great placement for the hands and the feet to come into our down dog as you exhale. Down dog. If you haven't seen the down dog video, a little sneak peek. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Now again, that sweep might not be the prettiest. So as you sweep through, we're gonna get that foot just as far as we can. If that's as far as it goes, great. We're gonna take that hand and we're gonna help it along. And we're gonna work it up to get between the hands. Back heel to the floor. Now windmill your arms up. 
to our warrior two. So rather than kind of breaking it down, as we windmill those arms up, that front knee stays bent, the arms open out to a T. Now we look down and fine tune, that knee rolls open, the arms extend out, soft through the shoulders. So no tension in the neck and the shoulders. If you're feeling that, relax for a second. If you can't, pull those hands into heart center. So we're opening up through the hips and the pelvis. We're lengthening and we're reaching through the fingertips. Now again, we can be not quite so deep into that lunge, or we can be deep in the pillow lunge, but we don't want that thigh, anything beyond parallel. Go ahead and straighten, and release the arms. Big step forward, awesome job. So that's our warrior two. I hope that helps. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Until then, have an amazing day.